Listen News. Wherever the big news story is happening, we're geared up to break it. TVC News, first with breaking news. Welcome to Marcus and Edge on TV, Nigerians' leading initiative in the business of brand management and in the management of brand business. It is a 30 minutes wholesome package that comprises brand news, branding, forecast, and industry conversation, all in a mix, encompassing thorough and in depth all aimed at promoting the brand idea. I'm Ogali Abikele Mafuru. Keep up with innovative, revealing, and groundbreaking happenings in the world of brands and brand builders in Nigeria and across the globe. Mingle with people and brands that make the cut and the personalities that keep reinventing the trends and traditions in the marketing world. All an exciting one-stop shop for marketing buffs. Marketing Edge on TV. You are always right on time with the right people and movers and shakers of the world of marketing as they share their views and ideas on the business and challenges of advertising, corporate affairs, media strategy, and the unfolding exciting world of digital marketing. Join the trendsetters and key decision makers as they shape opinions and project into the future of the marketing landscape for 30 exhilarating minutes on this channel. Stay ahead, be thrilled to beat, be marketing savvy with Marketing Edge on TV. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the brand idea. Good to have you back. First, the Marketing Edge is brand news where we bring you the latest developments around brands and in the field of marketing, advertising and communication in Nigeria and around the globe. Now on brand news, in furtherance of its vision to provide clients with more cutting-edge data and create aesthetics for the audience, Nimbus Media Limited has announced the rebirth of a strategic rebranding and expansion of the company's frontiers and offerings. Commenting on the new logo, CEO Nimbus Media Wali Adekoke said the rebrand is to shed light on how technological-driven Nimbus is as a company noting that incorporation of a cloud-connected network of screens would aid solutions that provide clients with more cutting-edge data, such as infographics of their audience. According to Adekoke, the rebrand is to leverage technology by bringing new goods and products to medium and large businesses and allowing them to deliver the markets to their clients. To reflect his brand essence and ingenuity, one of Nigerians' leading creative agencies, Extreme Ideas, has unveiled a new logo identity. Speaking on the unveiling, the agency said, In year acts, we're taking a 360 turn and reimagining our ability as a future forward agency. We're taking a bold leap and making a change, launching a new identity is only step one. Meet the new Extreme and get familiar. Extreme Ideas was established on August 1st, 2012, with one goal in mind to completely redefine the way advertising is practiced and perceived in Nigeria. The Gage Awards has concluded the 2022 edition of its Co Create International Tech Exhibition with a renewed call on tech companies to leverage collaboration to fast track the growth and development of the tech industry in Nigeria and Africa. The event, which held at the prestigious landmark event center in Lagos, was initiated to enable brands generate new ideas, assess thought leadership opportunities, deepen relationships with existing clients, and increase brand awareness. Commenting on the event, convener of the Gage Awards disclosed that the initiative was launched to help encourage the kind of collaboration and energy needed in the tech space. The event had in attendance some of Africans' biggest innovators across tech-related solutions and notable dignitaries. West African's leading creative agency, Inside Publicies, has been appointed by Amazon Prime Video International on-demand subscription video and over-the-top streaming platform 
amidst efforts to spread its global presence and reach more African audience. Speaking on the appointment, Senior Brand Manager, Prime Video Africa and Middle East, Elizabeth Okuta, stated that appointing a top creative and highly skilled agency like Insight Publicies will ease the brand's understanding of the Nigerian consumer, local nuances and people interest. On our part, Group Creating Director Insight Publicies assured that the agency is ready to deliver optimal value in line with the company's set goals. Insight Publicies is a member of Redefini, the largest integrated marketing communications group in West Africa. As part of efforts to drive technological inclusion through seamless digital payment opportunities, MasterCard has strengthened its digital payment capabilities across Eastern Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Speaking on the MasterCard Digital First program, head of product MasterCard said the program aims to provide choice and convenience across digital payment landscape and that MasterCard is looking forward to growing the digital economy through partnership and continuous innovation in the Middle East and Africa. MasterCard's Digital First program delivers an innovative and secured experience that makes it easier to pay and enjoy the value of the card. MasterCard's Digital First program gives consumers a whole host of options in making payments from e-commerce to contactless to QR using any digital device of their choice. It also enables consumers to have control to manage their finances as well as enhanced security. With our brand news, Nest Brand in Focus. Keep up with innovative, revealing, and groundbreaking happenings in the world of brands and brand builders in Nigeria and across the globe. Mingle with people and brands that make the cut and the personalities that keep reinventing the trends and traditions in the marketing world. All are exciting one-stop shop for marketing jobs. Marketing Edge on TV. You're always right on time with the right people and movers and shakers of the world of marketing as they share their views and ideas on the business and challenges of advertising, corporate affairs, media strategy, and the unfolding exciting world of digital marketing. Join the trendsetters and key decision makers as they shape opinions and project into the future of the marketing landscape for 30 exhilarating minutes on this channel. Stay ahead, be thrilled to beat, be marketing savvy with Marketing Edge on TV. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the bright idea. Now on Brand in Focus. Out of home, whole age advertising is still a widely misunderstood medium. What's known as a purely dedicated channel for driving brand awareness, OH has evolved in recent years to serve a much greater role than simply being a canvas for eye-catching brand campaigns. The first big challenge in OH strategies has been cookie-less tracking on digital devices. Without being able to leverage cookies, some brands are toying with OH placements as viable substitutions. OH ad offers remarkable tracking statistics that aren't typically tied to an individual user. For example, a user who stands in front of a dynamic OH billboard for 10 seconds won't be served a similar ad later. Consequently, OH tracking has escaped the brunt of the privacy debate surrounding tracking measures. The second change affecting OH involves the disregard consumers now have for other types of digital advertising. During the pandemic, consumers were so focused on their laptops, tablets, and smartphone screens that in many cases their brain leaned to tune out the constant advertising on these devices. As a result, many of those online ads don't have the same impact. OH can be ignored too, but a well-designed OH campaign is harder to breeze past. The bottom line is that OH still woos, still wows, and still works. In a changing world, modern marketers must refine their OH video campaigns to appeal to an audience that's been irreversibly transformed by the events of the past few years. With this in mind, brands would be wise to prioritize OOH advertising and develop a deeper understanding of how it's changed and where it's headed. People are back into the world for recreation and social gathering. Because so many took the ability to do this for granted before lockdowns, 
There is a real sense of joy and positivity which makes people more open to absorbing branded content in the form of OH media. Now is also a great time for brands to step out as early innovators in the digital OH space. Although digital billboards have existed for years, the format hasn't reached full maturity. The OH segment of the industry hasn't reached the age of having seen it all before yet. This creates space for unparalleled experimentation, innovation, and creativity. When I was branding Focus, Nest is industry conversation where we have interactions with distinguished personalities in the business of brand management. But this week we'll be having the General Manager of Hamburg Energy Drinks Limited, Titilola Adirichi, after this break. Size. Find it with the new Etel data plans. Dial star 141 hash now to get the plan that suits you. Airtel, the smartphone network. Marketing Edge on TV. Promoting the bright idea. Hello and welcome to Industry Conversation, a segment on Marketing Edge on TV, where we have interactions with distinguished personalities who have made great impact in the business of brand management. Well, today we have with us General Manager of Hamba's Energy Drinks Limited, Ms. Titidola Adiriji. Good to have you with us on Industry Conversation. You're welcome. Hi. Thank you. How are you? Well, it's a great pleasure to have you. Thank you. Uh, we managed to have this time out of your busy schedule. Yeah, and I do really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you so you. much. So let's talk a bit about the Nigerian business environment. For the energy drink you know, industry where you currently operate, how would you assess the growth so far? Um, the growth, I think the growth is um, okay. It's not as fast as we want it to or as rapid, but people are beginning to understand what an energy drink is and why you should have an energy drink. So I think in terms of growth, I'll say it's okay. It can be faster, but um, we'll get there. Okay. We understand that the Nigerian business environment has some you know, sort of fears and uncertainty, but the Amber Energy Drink is actually doing great in the market. Can you tell us the secret behind your success? Okay, one, I wouldn't tell you the secret. I'll just tell you a bit of what we're doing. Okay. Um, because we understand the market and we understand who Nigerians are, Amber is made by Nigerians for Nigerians. So we've taken time to understand what our market is, who our people are, and how do we deal with these people. So that's the confidence we have in, in knowing that Amber is here for a long time. And it's a legacy drink, so you're going to see us for a long time. Yeah, sure. <laughs> nice to know that. But let's talk a bit about some of the challenges that you had to grapple with when you decided to get into this industry and now you're one of the big players in the industry so tell us some of the challenges you had to you know grapple with i mean it's still here we have the problems with road with security with um exchange rates that is skyrocketing mm -hmm. and right now is election period so it's even worse um we know these problems and it's important for us to just maneuver our ways around it. Um, thankfully, the NAVDAG, um, Customs, they're doing better now. So it's a bit easier for us. But um, overall, we are still battling these problems, but we're just maneuvering our way around it. Yeah, so you're holding very strong too. Yes, we are. Yeah, another thing that has come to the fore is the fact that um, you talked about the exchange rate as skyrocketing. And another aspect to it is that there has been a decline in purchasing power, which mm -hmm. would also affect the ability yeah. of consumers to have access to these products. So tell us how Hamba is responding to this. Um, we have a few things that we do to support the economy and Nigerians as a whole. So we have something called the Amba Empowerment Program, where we give people trade finance loans to start the business, and then it helps them get on in life because, you know, the unemployment rate is off the roof. Mm -hmm. We also do some CSRs where we help 
various sectors in the economy to do better. So we help some government parasitals, um, FRSC, F um, LRS, them type people. We help um, the health sector, the schools, and just literally educating people and making them understand, even if it's a downtime now, it'll still get better. But um, in terms of pricing and the cost of products, because we're not compromising on, on our quality, it'll never be cheaper. It'll always keep being affordable at par with what the economy is saying mm -hmm. at the moment. And with all these things we're doing to help, people will still be able to afford um, our drink. And especially because it's by Nigerians, you're going to support us anyways, because we love you too. <laughs> of course, and Amber yeah. is doing a great job in the Thank market. Thank you. You're serving consumers at the touch points. Mm -hmm. Now, moving further, let's talk a bit about technology. How much of technology have you brought into your business and yeah. how much impact has it you know, made so far? Um, with technology, we're very techy, actually. Um, so in terms of tracking our products, in terms of tracking our staff, we have various technology technological tools we use that makes life easier for them and for us um, in terms of for advertisement and, and putting ourselves on the map we use like the social medias the blogs and all the things that they do with digital media and stuff like that but basically what we do is ensure that every medium available for advertisement we're on it and we are reaching our target audience so understanding who our target audiences are and how do they communicate or where do they play, and we go there. Okay, I understand that Amber Energy Drink is also, you know, envisioning a future where it will take over the entire country. Oh yes. And you've made, you know, deliberate efforts. I understand that you've been touring, you know, all the nooks and crannies of the country. So for the northern part of Nigeria, where I also understand that you're delving into, uh, what would you like as some of the challenges that you had to grapple with? Um, the first things first was educating them about the brand and why the brand is good for them. A lot of people think that energy drinks are one, bad for the health, two, alcoholic, three, they have some weird things in it, which is right, some have that. But for Amber, we had to let them know that first we're packed with vitamins and amino acids and the taurine level is low and then we used... Um, uh, guarana, as, which has a byproduct of caffeine, so it's natural for you. Second, we needed to let them know that it's halal, because halal is something that's big for them because of their religion and their culture. Um, so we could communicate that to them. And the language barrier, we needed to go understand how they communicate, because they have various dialects. So we were able to communicate with them and also reach the people that they reverence and make them understand that this drink is actually good for you and it's not addictive like the other substances they take but what they were looking for was energy and staying alert and not feeling weak and just letting your body do what it's supposed to do amber can do that for you okay um we understand that um the northern part of nigeria is quite extreme when it comes to culture and religion can you tell us precisely how you were able to navigate that huge challenge to actually get their attention? You know? So I wouldn't tell you precisely because a lot of my competitors are listening too. <laughs> so I wouldn't tell you that. But I'll tell you that we were able to understand them and communicate to them the way they would like to be communicated to mm -hmm. and help them see that this is one not alcoholic and everyone can consume it as long as you're over 18. Okay. Yeah. Now for the other parts of Nigeria, how would you assess the... Uh, penetration of mm -hmm. amber energy drinks? Yeah. Um, I think as of today, if I'm not mistaken, we should be available in, in over 20 states in Nigeria. And um, before the end of the year, we'll be available in about 28 states. Um, and not just available because we want to be available, available because the market is asking for us. And so when you turn to almost every corner in these states, you will find amber in, in there. So for us, we're very deliberate about availability and making sure that the people that need us have us. Okay, talking about the people needing amber and energy drinks, mm -hmm. I must also say that there's something you're contributing to the night to the country in terms yeah. of gdp so can you precisely tell us how much contribution amber energy drink is doing you know to support um, the nation's economy first we're creating employment 
let's start with that one. Um, we're reducing the amount of people that are um, on the streets in terms of employment and in terms of um, getting people off their fees as self-employed people through the um, AEP, that's Amber Empowerment Program. Um, the GDP, I don't, I can't really say that. I can't really like pinpoint how much we've done, but I know that we're contributing our quota. Um, we're only less than two years old, so we cannot um, boldly say that we've done X amount for the economy as a whole. But in terms of little bits, we can tell you that in each state we've employed um, people in terms of making their life better um, because our, our employment packages are really good. Um, and in terms of giving the country a drink that is good and can rival any drink around the world, I think we're one of the first or the best to do that. The best. The best, <laughs> yes. Okay, now you talked about rivaling other competitors. Yes. Now, do you plan to go pan-Africa? Oh, you yes. Know, you're making effort to take, in fact, you're taking over Nigeria. Yes, we have. So tell us the time frame. Where do you see our energy drinks in five years? Pan-African. Okay, That's global. It. Pan-African first, okay. and then global after. Well, Pan-African first. Okay, so let's talk a bit about um, activation. Okay. How would you describe your activation you know, um, process and mm -hmm. the impact of technology? Has technology you know, helped to enhance your activation? Okay, so because of technology, if we're in, say, Asaba, for instance, we'll amplify it on the digital media or social media, and everyone around the world can see that. So that has helped us amplify whatever it is we're doing in a selected area of space. So um, in terms of activation, every time we're activating somewhere, it's amplified everywhere um, we are. Okay. So um, any that. other CSR initiative that you're you know, planning to explore this yeah. year? Um, yeah, we will be supporting some health sectors. Um, we'll also be supporting some government... Um, Parastatals, I think that's what they're called. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and people in general. People win stuff, so we're always giving people stuff. Um, there have been some health, you know, um, concerns as to, mm. you know, energy drains. Yes. Now, what would you say to respond to some of those concerns? So for us, that's why we take education very important in, in AMBER. Every salesperson goes out first to educate before we sell. Um, we let you understand what we have packed full in our can. We have vitamins, minerals, and the most important thing is the taurine level is reduced. And the caffeine, we don't use synthetic caffeine. We use guarana, whose byproduct is caffeine. So those are the really bad things that are in most energy drinks that we've been able to tackle. So the way we deal with these complaints is education. We constantly let you understand why amber should be consumed by you as opposed to the other things. So those. Um, hard palpitations, those sweats that you get, those um, hot flushes and stuff like that, you wouldn't get that with amber because it doesn't have synthetic caffeine in it. Okay. Now, I'm sure our audience will want to find out how you, you know, delve into the energy drink market. Yeah. Why energy drink? And if not energy drink, mm -hmm. what else would, that, would it have been? If not energy drink, it would have been energy drink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us your journey so far. And um, how you, you came up with the idea to get on you know, this so, so everybody keeps saying you. There's a we. It's a, it's a collective effort. So it's we. We came up with um, this because we realized that Nigeria has always been a dumping ground. So um, we wanted to change that narrative. And it started with energy drinks. Energy drinks um, isn't so novel. But when it came to Nigeria, it was a big thing. And so nobody took the time to find out what they're consuming. It was after a while, when they started feeling their hot flushes and the palpitations. And, mm -hmm. But there was really nobody willing to do anything about it. So we decided that we were going to change that narrative and do something that is worth consuming by Nigerians. One, uh, the quality would rival anything else in the world. Two, and then the packaging will be as beautiful as anything you want to see or consume. Indeed it is. Thank you. But there's something very remarkable is... Amber came on board at the most critical and challenging times in human history, and that was the time of the pandemic. What spurred you into such, you know, venture at such a critical time? It's our resilience. It's the Nigerian in me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know Nigerians yeah. are very dogged. So um, that, uh, that for us was, what do you do when people are down? 
Do you stay down with them or just tell them, do you know what, we can all get out of it. So Amba decided to respond to that downtime and say, even if it feels like this, we know there's a way out. And if you come with us on this journey, we'll always go up. So how would you assess the various campaign initiatives introduced by AMBA, such as the AMBA Empowerment Scheme and the AMBA Free BRT Bus Initiative? Oh, those are really good. Um, again, the BRT came when COVID hit and people didn't have money. They literally couldn't get to work. And I know how other employees... Uh, so other employers um, deal with their staff. But with us, we're very particular about the Nigerian, away from them just consuming how they live and the quality of life. So we thought we were able, we could help them by giving them a free ride to work or from work and they can enjoy the drink while they go home. And it was so good. I, it's something I really enjoyed doing. Um, and the people loved it. They are asking for it again, but we'll come up with something better. I look forward to it. Yay. And then you keep saying Nigerian brand, Nigerian brand. Can you clearly tell us what is Nigerian about AMBA, especially when you're planning to go global? First, it's created by Nigerians. So from the creation, uh, that's the intellectual property, the mix, the, the design of the can, the people behind it were all Nigerians. The staff are all Nigerian. So even when it goes Pan-African, there'll always be a Nigerian face there mm -hmm. to let them Feels know that good. it's Nigerian. <laughs> so yeah. tell us your brand philosophy. We don't compromise on quality. Mm. So that's our brand philosophy. I will never compromise on quality. Thank you so much, Mom, You're for welcome. your time. I hope Thank to have you. future conversations with you. Thank you very Especially much. Especially when you go global. Yes, we'll take you with us. I'll see you at CNN. Thank you. <laughs> so that's it on Marketing Edge on TV. Do well to join us same time next week for another interactive time. I'm Ogalia Bikele Mafur. Bye for now. Showing progress. Here is a new vision governing the state of the virtuous. Get a blow by blow account of the achievements of Governor Gwe Gaoyatola across all the sectors, including mining, culture and tourism, health, education, agriculture, transportation, massive infrastructure development, security, social welfare, commerce, and workers' welfare, among others. This new vision has brought accountability. Boostful healthcare, good road network, thriving economy, free surgical mission, and much more. Follow Governor Guigao Yatola as he delivers on his promise to transform the state and give our people good life. Indeed, with the foundation for development being properly laid, development is already on the fast lane. Don't miss or show in progress every week on this station. In the month of June, on the 3rd of June 2012, a Dana airline plane crashed into a building near the airport, killing 153 persons on board and six on the ground. Ten years after, has the pains healed? On the 4th of June, the mother of Kudurat, wife of the recognized winner of the June 12, 1993 presidential election, M.K. Wabiola, will be remembered. And the 5th will be World Environment Day. On the 7th, Food Security takes center stage on World Food Day. The 12th is Nigeria's Democracy Day. On the 14th, it will be World Blood Donor Day. Combating desertification and drought will be marked on the 16th. The 19th will be World Sickle Cell Day. Then the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking will be on the 26th. Stay with TVC News. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas. It shows in the canvas. 
It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked, and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be.